You know, I was gonna do a bit of an intro here, but then I realized that if you're watching this video, chances are you already know who the fuck I am, because I'm pretty sure no new subscribers are gonna be gained by making this. But anyway, that leads me into my point today on this video. Now, you see, lately I've been going through some shit, and uh, I've been realizing very gradually that one of the main reasons I'm having such a hard time growing my channel at, the, at a more significant rate is because my channel fits in with so many other channels, but at the same time, it doesn't. Now, let me explain what I mean by that. Um, on YouTube, there's a lot of small creators like me who only have 100 or so subscribers, or even less in many cases, and I gotta say, I've watched a couple good channels who, who do not have uh, over 200 subs. And these people are working very hard making content, and a lot of them I've talked to, like, personally. And they're, they, they, got, they got problems that, you know, in real life that they have to deal with, so they can't really pump out videos as frequently as they may want. So, you know, it would probably be more beneficial for them if there weren't a lot of fucking obstacles. The problem is, as a small YouTuber, I feel like there are a lot of obstacles, and I could get into a number of different reasons why being a small YouTuber is so difficult, but there's one thing in particular that really fucking eggs me on, and it really makes me irritated with this platform sometimes, and this is the... I call them sub-for-sub -sub channels. I fucking hate these guys. There are channels on YouTube that legitimately go around advertising their channel on different social media platforms such as mainly Facebook and Twitter, and their channels are fucking terrible. Like, their channels are, and I'm not talking their channels are terrible, like, opinion-wise, I'm talking their channels aren't channels, their channels are something stupid they took from somewhere, or some stupid fucking 10-minute video they took on their iPhone, uploaded it, put a bunch of, ad of ads in the fucking video hoping that people, enough people watch it to get money, and they go around asking sub for sub, like, oh, hey, yeah, sub for sub, you know, fucking, uh, you know, uh, sub for sub, bro, give me fucking money. What they basically mean by saying sub for sub in every fucking post they make is that they want you to subscribe to them so that it gives you, like, it entices you, like, hey, if you subscribe to me, I'll subscribe back. But what they're hoping is that they want people to fucking watch their stupid fucking videos so that they can make money. And these are the people that come to YouTube thinking this is an easy money maker for everybody. That's not the case at all, I'm sorry. YouTube requires a lot of hard work and continuous uploading and you maintaining an audience for you to have any success on this platform. If it were so fucking easy, I'd probably already be a fucking, maybe not a millionaire, but I'd already be set for life. Because I gotta say, in my personal opinion, and maybe I'm fucking wrong here, and maybe people do hate my channel, maybe I'm not as good as I think, and honestly, I don't even have a big ego. I usually try to keep it under control. I'm pretty humble about most things. But in all seriousness, I feel like I'm one of those YouTube channels that does put in a lot of effort into my channel. I mean, I I have my share of troubles in life and with YouTube in general. And just so I put in as much effort as I possibly can. Yes, there are times where I skimp out and I decide, you know what, it's good enough. But for the most part, I try to make my videos as good as they can be. And it really makes me mad. Like very, very angry when I see these terrible fucking shit channels who just post these stupid fucking videos and th they think that they're gonna get somewhere with this and the prob- I wouldn't really care about this if this didn't filter me in with them. When a lot of people see a small channel, the problem with small channels is you don't know if you can trust them or not. Like, why would someone watch my videos when they can watch another YouTuber who's already gained like, a large following of at least 10,000 subscribers who they know actually takes it seriously and makes good videos. The problem with our small YouTube channels, for those of us who are like me with small YouTube channels, is we get filtered in with these fucking idiots who make these sub-for-sub -sub channels, and then random people who come across our channel may assume, okay, well this cat channel's small, which means it must be terrible, when a lot of times that's not the case. For example, here's a channel that I ran into recently who, oh my god, what a wonderful human being. He made a fucking video, he's trying so hard to help out small channels, he's, he's fighting, the, he's living the dream, he's fighting the good fight. He's uh, made a video called How to Collect 3000 Plus YouTube Subscribers in 5 Minute. Not 5 Minutes, people, that's not plural, that's 5 Minute. Five, a minute times 5, a minute 5 times over, whatever the fuck you want to consider it. Anyway, it's made by a uh, legendary fucking YouTuber who uh, is the spreader of cancer. 
named Top 10. You can't see how many subscribers he is because he's just so fucking good. You don't need to know. It'll make PewDiePie jealous. Anyway, Legendary Man Top 10 here has a video he wants to share with us. And I saw it on a fucking Facebook group that I am in because I go to these groups in hopes of running into other intelligent and creative YouTubers who I might end up, uh, commu you know, collaborating with or learning something from. And this man has taught me a lot. So without, you know, any delay, I'm just going to play the video right here. Here we go. fuck is this music? Is he? And why is it so goddamn loud and it's like low quality? It's like so scratchy and grainy. It's like he took the fucking whatever track this was originally from, removed whatever the lyrics may have been in the music, and just like fucking rubbed it against some fucking audio sandpaper or something. I don't even know how to fucking explain this. And why is the intro like so fucking long? Hold on, let's keep watching. Let's let's get an idea of what this really is, because, I mean, maybe this guy is legit. Maybe this video is actually going to teach you how to make better content. Let's, let's take a look. Okay, we're about one minute into the fucking video now, and I'm starting to slowly realize that this being a, a barely three minute long video, this might not actually be anything, because all it is is an image of a guy that, of, of a fucking screen that says 3,000 YouTube subscribers that I think, um, let's just keep watching, maybe, maybe he'll say something at the end. It's becoming very painstakingly clear to me that this is a complete fucking bullshit video. Uh, so let's just, I guess we'll just watch this to the very end and get in a, and just, just, yeah. Well, that gave me fucking arthritis. Um, that video is exactly what I'm fucking talking about. Uh, so our friend here, uh, fucking uh, top ten, the fucking legendary YouTuber who I look up to and aspire to be like, fucking this video is literally clickbait. This video is literally a fucking joke. I'm surprised it doesn't have advertisements on it, at least not when I watched it. What the fuck is this? And this fucking guy is the same guy who in the fucking, in the YouTube group that I was looking at, says that he wants a sub for sub deal. So in other words, he wants you to subscribe to this fucking channel because of this video. And that's it. And then he'll subscribe back. What the fuck is this? What the actual fuck is this? I don't understand. What the fuck? What is this supposed to be? Is he being serious? Is this a joke? Like, when I see these kinds of videos sometimes, I'm not really sure if the guy is just being a fucking, like, asshole, or if he's just being satirical or a memester, or whatever you want to call it, or if he's just, or if he's honestly just fucking stupid and he thinks that this is, like, this is gonna get him somewhere. What the fuck is this? Ah, <sighs> regardless, alright. Well, anyway, so, that's, as, that's about as far as I want to go with this today, uh... Yeah, you see, um, I deal with this kind of shit all the time. I run into these channels pretty much every day of my life, and I've been getting kind of sick of it, because I'm here trying to make some decent content, and I'm struggling, and meanwhile, I go to these groups thinking, okay, there are other small YouTubers who are trying to, who actually, you know, there must be other small YouTubers in these groups who are trying to do their thing, trying to make some unique content, trying to find themselves a place in the YouTube community, and who enjoy the YouTube community, and then I feel like I'm the only fucking person who's actually on YouTube 
who likes YouTube. Like, all these people who just want money or something. The only fucking decent YouTuber I've ever run into on this on these communities is uh, this girl known as the Red Bard, who does reviews on uh, JRPG and indie games, which, who, by the way, I really enjoy her content, so I think I'm going to leave a link to her channel down in the description below. Uh, and the Red Bard, if you happen to watch this, uh, I appreciate, uh, I'm glad I got to meet you, because, well, I'm glad that there's a human being on one of these channels, and not just these spamming bots who want money. Anyway, on that note, I think I'm going to go now. Uh, thank you for watching this video. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.